Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to work on Terran uh, missions to try and get rep with them. Um, so let's see. Uh, some other things we got to do, too. Um, we got to get these mines cleared out of here. <clears throat> so I'm going to work on that. I brought my nemesis and a small fleet down here uh, to, to do these missions for these guys in. So they're hanging out with me right at the moment. I have uncovered uh, all of these places. So Orc Cloud, Pluto, Neptune, Uranus, um, three smaller sectors for Saturn, Jupiter, and Asteroid Belt. Um, but the Terrans won't let me go past uh, this gate into their inner systems. Um, so, yeah, so we can't do that until we get our rep up with them. And then I also got up into Getsufuni, uh, which is an, a Xenon sector, and into Savage Spur 2. Um, this sector is interesting because it only has a gate that comes into the system not out of it so you can't get out of this system into uh, up into here i did mark both of these systems as a uh, blacklist as well for the traders uh, and then this pops back out uh, in the void up into the north here okay so uh when i was flying around in terran space here uh, we had a few cutscenes. so here are those right now Terran security to Talani vessel, you are approaching Terran restricted space. Please divert your course. This is Talani Trader Lucrative Investments to Terran Patrol. We are looking for mutual opportunities to make profits. We are not interested. We insist that you divert your course. But we can surely achieve mutual benefit from... Negative. We demand that you change course immediately. Maybe we can persuade you with valuable information about... We order you to change your course immediately, or we will be obliged to take measures to protect the safety and security of this system. Okay, okay. Changing course. The unrealized profits from this unfortunate loss of opportunity are split equally between each of us. Incoming scene on detected. Prepare for battle. Launching fighters. Take them down before they invade deeper into the inner core. Done, everyone. Return to base. And I also did a couple of um, missions, a satellite repair mission, and tried. I did a mission to blow up some mines, still using the uh, the, the bolt repeater thing on my. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember what it's called. Um, the bolt repeater thing that I have on my scout. And uh, it, I got it done, but it was a pain in the butt. So um, we're, we're definitely going to probably use either some guided missiles or possibly some smart missiles to take out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, to take out these and any other mines that the game might want us to do. Anyway, um, here's just some quick footage of those two missions. I could count on you.
if you think you can handle it. Okay, so, um, what we're gonna do, oh, I have decided upon a new transport, uh, so let's actually work on that first. Um, I've decided after, you know, doing a lot of comparing and stuff, uh, I decided that I want to go with the Cormorant Vanguard. This ship is very tough, both hull and shield-wise. It's got a front weapon and two turrets. So it has, uh, um, you know, its weapon output for a transport coupled with how tough it is uh, makes this thing amazing. Uh, it does have a smaller cargo hold, but even 7900 is a little bit higher than the Hermes um, that we've been using, the Hermes Vanguard, I think it was. Uh, so it's even a little bit of an improvement over that, but this ship, especially out of sector, because I have it um, totally kitted out with plasma cannons and plasma turrets, uh, I think it's going to be able to hold its own quite well. I I'm still going to have a small wing of fighters to accompany it too, but um, yeah, I think this ship's going to do much, much better um, than what we've had so far. By the way, if I seem a little out of sorts, it's because it's uh, freaking three o'clock in the morning. I I had some little insomnia, couldn't sleep, so I got up and decided to record of it an episode. But I am a, I'm a little bit bleh right now, so apologize for that in advance. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna replace our Hermes Vanguards with the Cormorant. Uh, we'll have our advanced traders use this, and then the leftover um, Hermes that we have, I'm just gonna assign to the station as station haulers. So, um, I, I did look, at, as you can see, I looked at the Baldrick too. Uh, the Baldrick also has two turrets, but it doesn't have a front gun. And it's got less than half the shields of the Cormorant and a little less hull. Uh, what it does have going for it, though, is a little more storage space. But otherwise, uh, the Cormorant's going to be just a lot, lot better, I think, overall. Even though it's a bit on the slow side, but even the Baldrick... Uh, is even a little slower than that but right now we're going for toughness in defense and the ability to stand up against you know the pirates so um you know i i think this ship will be fine against anything except for maybe a destroyer if a destroyer pirate goes after it it's gonna we're gonna probably have to tell it to run away but anything else i think it'll be fine uh in most cases i hope i'm right about that anyways okay so let's go to um, we want to go to 18 billion, yeah, because we have to buy this from Ministry of Finance. And we'll go to the Talati Wharf, and we're going to purchase five of these to start with. So we want the Cormorant. There isn't a Sentinel version of this, by the way, uh, and I already have my preset. So we have the Combat Engine, the Mark II Thruster that I usually use. Um two mark two shields we're putting a plasma cannon two as, as the front gun again for out of sector combat uh, two plasma turrets for out of sector combat uh, just the basic software here i'm giving it some laser towers too uh, looks like we're going to put about 30 laser towers in each one and then the usual crew and captain okay so and looks like, once again, advanced electronics are going to be the biggest pain in the butt. Uh, but actually, I have some of those at the station. So if it's only going to take 14 per ship, we're going to get five. So that's only going to be 70, I think. So that shouldn't be too bad. 
All right, so let's grab five of these. And then, you know, once we get another, a new three-star pilot, then we'll just buy another one of these and keep buying these for the advanced traders moving forward. So that put, sets us back 12.4 million. Um, and we are gonna need to get 70 advanced electronics up there. Let's go down to our station here. And what are you doing? You're Trader 5. I'd rather use a station hauler. Um, let's tell you to remove all orders. Go to Reaver Industries. And pull out 70 advanced electronics. Confirm that. And then I want you to deliver those up to 18 billion. There we go. Okay, and then once he delivers those, um, it will should start making those ships for us. So we're just waiting for those 70 right there. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, um, what I'm going to do is, does my little scout ship have any default orders? I don't want to, I'm going to keep it with us. I don't want it to take off. Oh, by the way, um, money-wise, we're at 96.2 million. Well, and we just, you know, spent 12 some odd million too. So actually we're doing better than that. If we look at the freighter and go to transaction log, um, it had it had a couple of really nice, huge, like 2.6 million Claytronic sale, which is a huge sale for a single sale. Um, and here, let's do show more. Had a 1.2 million, an almost a million there, a 5.6, but it's starting to to not it's starting to drop off a little bit so it's probably it's like mostly it's having it sell claytronics um but yeah i mean it's it's already made us quite a bit of money it we haven't recouped our cost on it yet but we will eventually i'm sure anyway okay so let's go to our scout here and yeah, he does have a default order to revisit known station. So let's clear that, remove all orders and assignments. And I want you, well, first of all, let's teleport to the Nemesis. And then I want the scout to just join my other fighters okay so what we're gonna do now is we need to go to the Nemesis wharf vanguard hello hello excuse me personal space there's not much room for us to move in here uh, all right we're gonna go fit a missile launcher on here and um, use it to take out these mines and also do any missions involving taking out mines for uh, the Terrans. So let's go ahead and head over to the wharf. I think I, I've got a couple of ships actually too that need to be repaired. Looks like it's just you. So you go to the wharf. get repaired and everybody else is in pretty good shape you know come to think of it though before I <clears throat> yeah hold on a second I've got specialized guns on here and I'm not if I change them out 
I'm gonna have to go all the way back up to split space to so get him back later. So why don't we see how things go just with unknown object the guns we have. If we can take if we can take these out easily enough with what we have, then we might just go with this. All right, let's head over here and see if we can take this mine out. All right, I'm gonna switch to these weapons. Let's just see what happens. Okay, that wasn't so bad. The, these are a lot more accurate than the neutron blaster thingies. So yeah, maybe we'll just use these. Um, the other thing I guess I could do is fit. A missile launcher on one of the fighters. What do these fighters have? Do they just have... Oh, what just happened? I mean, a missile launcher would definitely be the easiest way to do this. You have... You just have... Oh, you have Mark 1 bolt repeaters? Do they all have Mark 1 bolt repeaters? They do. Oh, well, he's got a Mark II. Huh, so these two have Mark I's. I, I didn't in, do that intentionally. Well, okay. Why don't we try something then? Let's, let's grab these two and have them fly here. And I want you to fit just a Mark I tracking launcher. Um, yeah, let's just let's just fit them with two. Um, and let's see, a light guided missile is six hundred and fifty six credits. A smart missile is almost twice as much. But the smart missile is going to be fire and forget. Yeah, you know what? They're not that much money. Let's just grab smart missiles. We, we can afford it. Okay. Add the shopping list. Confirm order. So we'll let those guys go get refitted, and then later on I'll I'll put uh, I'll probably put bolts uh, or Mark II bolt casters back on them, and then once they get back here, we'll hop into one of those and try out a missile, uh, some missiles on these guys. In the meantime, let's just keep cleaning them up, uh, just with our disintegrator thing and And I don't I don't think the Terrans get pissed at us for taking these missiles out. I, or not missiles, mines. I just don't want them here because, you know, we're going to be trading and coming through here and um, it's just too dangerous. Some of the other minefields have like tracker mines or friend foe mines, which are even more dangerous than the normal ones. So I think it behooves us to get rid of these suckers. I'm going to need to tell, have my fighters um, hold back when we get to the tracker or friend foe. Ooh. That must have been a tracker. Well, you know what, though? It, hmm. I don't know if it'll, they'll go after the fighters or not. Unknown object. If they do, they'll probably... I'm sure they'll destroy him. Let's get this one next. How did I turn off my autopilot? Or not autopilot, uh, assisted, whatever, flight assist, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm. If some of these are trackers, I'm afraid 
my fighters might get nailed. So... Did you already get your missiles? Yeah, you did. Okay. Um, let's send actually all of these guys over to dock and wait. We'll keep this one fighter with us. And... Let's just have him follow for now. There there aren't any enemies in this sector. At least I haven't come across any. I'm just going to have him follow so he stays behind us for now. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a lot easier than using the neutron blasters. Let's try the fighter out next. Uh, so I want you. Do you have a default order? Yeah, just hold. Get rid of that. Just hold position, which is exactly what I want you to do. Okay, let's teleport over to the fighter here. Noden, Vanguard. Greetings. Greetings. Autopilot, disengage. All right, let's have you No, he he can just stay put for the moment. I think he's fine where he is. Unknown object. Okay, let's target that. Uh yeah, right here. What is our range on these missiles? Let's take a quick look at that. It's like Pedia, military missiles, light, smart missiles. Um, oh, 7.8 kilometers. Goodness. Okay. You know what? Actually, two. Let's just do that. So there's no point in firing both of them at the same time for this. Let's stretch them out longer. I'm assuming these will work against a mine. Okay, let's just get seven clicks out-ish. don't work against mines. Let's get a little closer. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, I guess, even though they have a range of 7.5 kilometers, that doesn't mean they're going to be quite as accurate. Unknown object. There we go. Okay. Okay, 
let's try right around four clicks out. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is working okay. All right, guys, well, I'm going to cut the camera here and get these minefields clear, and then once I'm done with that, then we will start looking at doing some missions for the Terran. So I'll be back in, well, this is not going to take me a while, so I'll be back in a while. Element. The provinces adrift finally have a fully All functional right, the shipyard, shipyard. mission no small part, thanks to your contribution. has finished. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. Okay, so I actually was going to show you guys that that was just about done, too, and I, I forgot. Um... Yeah, so I guess it's done now. So, yeah, the Boron now have their shipyard completely built. We did definitely contribute to that, and there it is. So cool. All right. Anyway, let's um, let's get back to mine popping here. Kablooey. Okay. So this ship is out. So what we're going to do is swap over to the other one. Um, your default order is to follow Nemesis 1, right? Okay. So let's teleport to you. And then I want you to go back and refill up on some more missiles. You know, actually, why don't we try... Let's try the guided missiles. Well, that's the other thing, too, though. What's the difference between the speed? I don't, I don't think Heatseeker would work against mines. And Swarm doesn't really make sense. Or does it? Military missiles. Okay, a light guided missile speed is 877 meters per second. The smart missile is 782. So the guided missile is just a little faster. What about the swarms? Swarms are also 826. Light guided is 877. Yeah, let's try some. We'll try some guided missiles this time. And I want you to purchase light guided missiles. They're cheaper, they're faster. All right, where am I at? This way. Noden, Vanguard. Unknown object. Okay, let's keep popping some mines here. Oh crap, I forgot to set it to... There we go. Alright, let's grab the next Unknown one here. Object. Okay, guys, um, now we're going to try the guided missile, uh, which is supposed to have an 8.8 .8 kilometer range, but we'll get a little closer. Let's get in <coughs> into about, um, within about six and a half or so, and then, uh-oh, it's not letting me lock on. Uh shoot. Okay. I wonder why not. I mean, I got it targeted. Oh. Does it just take a while for it to to lock? That's definitely a little faster than the than the uh, smart missile. This is the first time I've used these in X4, so I'm sure I used them in X3 many years ago, but I don't remember exactly how they worked at that point. 
Okay, so if we just just for science here. Okay, we're just barely in range. So do I have to hold it down? Maybe okay, so the missile the missile's range is 8.8 .8 kilometers, but maybe the you have to be closer for the locking to work. Perhaps that's what it is. So let's get within five. It doesn't work within five. How about there we go? Okay, so right about four and a half kilometers is where it appears to lock. Alright. Fair enough. So we're just about done clearing uh, the second minefield that, you know, was around the shipyard. And then we'll, of course, have all of those to do next. So let's target. Uh, doesn't really matter. We got to do them all. So Unknown object. we'll target that one next. Cool. All right. I mean, it's kind of, it's almost six half one dozen the other. These are, these are faster missiles, but I do have to get a little bit closer. The bad thing about the smart missiles is they would occasionally, um, Unknown object. they would occasionally miss, you know, they hit about, I'd say 90, 90% of the time, but every once in a while I would have them miss. So these are faster, but I have to get a little closer. But uh, it's not that big a deal one way or the other. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys use for... Requesting permission for mind-busting. Uh, you know, what kind of missiles you use anyways. There we go. Oh, that one missed. It's probably because I launched it. Be well, actually, I don't know why it missed. There we go. Okay, so we just have one Katana. more. Right here. Unknown object. We're making the sky safe. The Cigars Pioneers probably appreciate me doing this, actually. Okay. Very nice. So now we just have to get rid of this minefield over here, and then we've the place up um Unknown object. I have a I, I haven't really been keeping track of time here but I have a suspicion that we're probably out of time uh, so whether we are or not um, I think I'm about ready to try and go back to bed now anyways I'm really tired <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning now um, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here. And then the plan for the next episode will be that we'll start doing some missions for the Terrans. Um, oh, also our cormorants should be, should be done. Let's take a look here. Um, yeah, they're all right here. Okay. So I'm basically just going to tell the pilots to move over to these and, and swap them, but I, I need to get. I need to replenish some of the fighters because we've lost, you know, some of the fighters too. I'll probably just keep a five fighter wing with all of them. We'll just see how well they do. But I'll get all, all that set up off camera and uh, show you the final result of that as, when we start the next episode. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. I'm going to bed. <laughs>